You can't ignore NFTs. They've passed DeFi and become the largest segment in crypto. They're becoming mainstream. Even Taco Bell and Charmin are in on it. So we've covered NFTs a lot on this channel, but today I'm going to focus on how we're going to see a huge change within this space. And this is because Coinbase recently announced their NFT marketplace. When I read the report on what the Coinbase marketplace will look like, the features seem pretty promising. Their approach to making this work seems to be in community building first, where the goal is to make creating and promoting NFTs NFT art feel more like going through someone's Instagram feed than shopping on some dark web market. Early renders suggest that users' profiles will look a lot like social media profiles with art and corresponding prices displayed as a grid. Except here, the grid won't have photos of your mom or your summer trip to Vermont, unless you want to make your mom into an NFT, which I don't recommend. I mean, it seems disrespectful for some reason. Hey mom, uh, can I make you into an NFT? I don't even know what that means. Okay, perfect. But the main goal in all of this is social engagement. And here's where I think things could really take off. What I see happening is an evolution of the influencer marketing economy. The Digital Marketing Institute reports that 70% of teens trust influencers more than other celebrities. And in the same report, they say that 49% of all consumers actually take influencer recommendations. Now, the integration of social media and NFTs has been pretty slow to grow so far. Twitter, only in the last month, introduced a way for you users to authenticate NFT art within their profiles. Coinbase aims to become the de facto platform for social media engagement around NFTs, as well as a platform for buying and selling those same NFTs. You know, community has a way of driving demand, and that's a concept that brands have been making bank on for centuries. So far, NFT marketplaces have been home to crypto assets whose value has been determined largely elsewhere. You know, you might be a fan of Doja Cat, and you and a million others find your collection of Tezos NFTs valuable. Or you might be a fan of the NBA, who also owns a marketplace for collectible digital assets. The thing is, countless projects of abstract art and monkeys smoking pipes tend to rely on promotion from influencers to get any traction outside of the platform. But when a marketplace becomes the community platform in and of itself, with content baked right in that inspires customers to trade, I can see NFTs becoming more and more integrated into the life of an average social media user. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe to the main channel as well, right here.